Luke, do you think it was just the inaccuracy in front of goal that really cost you tonight, or with other aspects you probably weren't happy with? Uh, that was part of it, I leave no doubt, but uh, there were other aspects in the end. They well, we up the ante in that last quarter and we uh, we couldn't match it, so that's that's part of the deal. Uh, but yeah, there was some telling um, opportunities to convert that we didn't take care of, and that's a bit deflating. I mean, boys have been pretty good with being able to weather that um, disappointment at that time and just can stay in the game, but um, you know. You can't keep Geelong um, at bay for too long if you're not making the most of those opportunities. It was, it was a big part of it, but ultimately got beaten by a good side who, um, as I said, uh, found something in, in the last quarter that we uh, we couldn't quite find. What went wrong in the second half? Because you get the first two goals of the third quarter and, and looked in control at that time and then you end up conceding the final six goals of the game. Yeah, I think it's partly their intensity and we didn't match it. Uh, and then it's, uh, yeah, look, I, you would have noted that we sort of blatantly gave the ball back to them too many times in our own back half, or in their front half. Um, you know, we fueled a, a game from their high forwards um, who are great connectors by foot and in particular... Obviously, Myers, you know, he's the best in the comp at that. You opportunities to find his uh, teammates with any sort of time. He just, he's just so good at it. And um, so they got some opportunities off the back of those turnovers. Um, and, um, yeah, look, there were some things going uh, that were in our favour, but yeah, some of those missed opportunities would have given us a little bit of breathing space here and there. And, um, but ultimately, um, yeah, it's a shame that uh, we couldn't uh, we couldn't cover things. You know, I mean, you lose one player in Ed Richards, and you, you should still be able to um, cover. It felt like the the cascade of the roles within our team um, was we found it difficult. Um, Ed and JJ had been influential. Uh, for a period of time. So now we've got a challenge on our hands. It's one of the reasons why we played Caleb Daniel back to a um, bit of experience and um, and to fuel our, our game. I thought, you know, at times our ball movement looked really promising, but it just broke down just through, um, you know, I asked the boys, was it did it was it greasy? Was it, was there dew inside the stadium? And Because uh, I just felt like in in open field and, and taking the ball across the ground, we just didn't execute well by foot. Um, which is a real shame because we we had some looks. How did you see the way they set up with Tom Stewart as um, well? He wasn't so much an extra defender as their sixth defender, and you had one the extra around the ball. How did you sort of see the way that you used your extra around the ball and, and them having Stewart spare? Well, I think usually um, you know, Stewart in particular. Uh, He's a good interceptor. He's quick. Didn't feel like it was a major issue in the game. I don't know what you felt like, but if you look at the intercept marks with either team, I think we took a fair few more than them. Um, we go back to those stats. So it, there wasn't a big issue for us. I mean, we we generally play with five forwards a lot. Um, but then as the game wore on, they really, they, they really pressed their back line up, so that, that sort of disappeared for a while. So it wasn't a factor. Mark, is you feel with Ed Richards? I mean, is it a standard hamstring or worse? I mean, we know Jason Johannesson recently with an eight to ten weeker. How bad's Ed? We don't feel he's as serious, anywhere near as serious as Jay's at the moment, but he'll have some scans. I mean, he, we, we saw him limping and then he, he didn't come off. Mm. Uh, so he thought he had a cramp, which is unusual. It wasn't that late in the game. Um, and ran around for a bit longer. Uh, but our guys are, are hopeful that it's, it's not like Jay's. So hopefully it's just a maybe post-buy thing. With those two out, would you consider Caleb Poulter for next Friday night? Yeah, possibly. Possibly. We played Caleb back today. Foot's great. He went OK. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely uh, have a conversation around, around Caleb.
Marcus and Adam both spent periods of time off the ground. How they they obviously went back on, but any um, sore bodies there? Yeah, well, Adam was dealing with a, a calf sort of situation you know, right from early in the game, and um, yeah, Adam's got a history of um, of having to you know manage his body and some soft tissue stuff. So he he was a bit frustrated and thought he might have. Uh, had an injury, but we, we think he's OK. Um, and Marcus hyperextended his knee a little bit, but structurally he's fine. And um, and again, we, th we think Marcus is going to be OK as well. How would you say Tim English's performance tonight? And, and is he now the best rack in the, in the comp? Yeah, well, Tim was influential and, um, you know, he... Uh, he worked his backside off for us um, at the stoppage and away, and uh, yeah, he was pretty good. Unfortunately, we just didn't have enough um, who could have that influence on the game. I think guys had their, their chance to to really press the uh, the situation, but just couldn't use the ball well enough. You know, had enough of it, a few of them. But um, yeah, when you we use the ball so poorly through our wings and and through some of our high, high up backs and. Um, and then, uh, uh, and then, then when we take the ball across the ground, it just, it's just very difficult to uh, to push the advantage home, and, and that ended up biting us. Happy guys. <laughs>